It's a march that's often known as Martin Luther King's March on Washington. Um, and that's really uh, a, a, a name that it, it acquired in hindsight. At the time, everybody really knew that and recognized that A. Philip Randolph was the principal leader of the march. So what was Martin Luther King's role in the 1963 march? Well, by, by 1963, Martin Luther King had really established himself as an important leader. He was very well known uh, for his leadership in the Montgomery bus boycott. Uh, in the previous decade. He had formed the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, um, and he was widely known really as uh, the sort of the leader of the Southern Civil Rights Movement, this uh, movement that was based on nonviolent civil disobedience aimed at ending the system of Jim Crow uh, in the South. He was a tremendous speaker. Everybody knew that he was a, a, a phenomenal speaker. Um, but he wasn't the only, and in many ways, the, the, the principal leader of what we would know as the civil rights movement. Um, so the civil rights movement, I think it's important to remember, was a national movement. It was a movement that was not just focused on ending Jim Crow in the South. It was a movement that went back to this, uh, this effort during the Second World War to win equal access to jobs and had really retained that effort um, to, to try to build a, a national movement that could end racial inequality. So by 1963, Martin Luther King was very well known as a speaker, as a leader of this, in some ways, a part of the movement. And so when A. Philip Randolph went to reorganize this march that he had called off back in 1941, Everybody said, well, you better get Martin Luther King. You need to get his support. And he went to Martin Luther King. And Martin Luther King said, well, let, I will support you, but let's expand the goals of the march. The march is not just about winning equal access to jobs, fighting employment discrimination. It's also about winning the right to vote in the South, which for somebody, A. A. Philip Randolph lived in New York City. He had the right to vote. This was not sort of primary on his mind. But for somebody living in Montgomery or living in Atlanta, this was the primary goal to end uh, the segregation in lunch counters and the things that I think we often sort of popularly associate with the, the civil rights movement more broadly. So that's where actually the slogan for the 1963 march came from. This was a march for jobs and freedom. 